live on Facebook here. Gentlemen, have a fair, um, have a fair fight, but uh, you know, don't be afraid to pull low punches. That's what we're all about here in the court of public. <laughs> we're <laughs> all up for ad hominem attacks. If you want to attack each other, that's fine. Oh, well, I'm sure there's going to be plenty of that. <laughs> plenty of that. I'm going to try to be, I'm going to be fair as I always am. <laughs> full of crap. <laughs> you'll be fairly full of shit. Can hey, we curse? I gave, you you first, man. I gave you first. No, Unless I said, you can want we me curse. Oh, can we curse? He wants to know. Yeah, that. you can do whatever you want, man. Oh, okay. Because he can't make his point unless he curses, you know. Oh, for can't, crying out loud. Can't make, you know, he's got to say motherfucker and pussy ass and you know. You can do <laughs> you can do it. It's I'm from these way. streets, Greg Holman. I'm from these streets. <laughs> hey, I'm from the streets, man. Cabrini Green, born and raised, rather die. Okay. That was an excellent documentary I watched about that last <laughs> night. Yeah, well, I lived it. I don't need any more Cabrini Green. <laughs> yeah. All right. Order. Order in the court of public opinion. <laughs> Gentlemen, uh, you have your tasks. You know uh, what today is all about. Today it's red versus green in the fight as what is champion color. We have our two esteemed counselors, Mars Timms, Gregory Holloman here. As you all Good know, evening. it works like this. Round one, opening statements. Round two, each of them get to poke holes in the other's opening statement. Round three is a rebuttal. Round four, answering a hypothetical situation posed by me, your judge, and finally closing arguments after which we will go to the audience for the vote to determine who wins the court of public opinion, red versus green. We had a um, backstage, we had a number pulled to determine who's going to go first. In an interesting turn of events, uh, Sir Holloman won, but he deferred to Sir Tim's. To start yeah, just like opening. a Bears coach, he deferred his uh, winning the opening toss. Uh, yeah, well, you know, it's just like, let the games begin. <laughs> and the games will begin. Uh, uh, Counselor Timms, the floor is yours for your opening statement. All right, let's get this started. Uh, the color red is associated with energy, strength, power, determination, as well as passion, desire, love, all things that Gregory lacks. Um, Greg, you're a religious man, are you not? Yes, you I are. Am not a, no, yes, I'm not. you are. You're a religious man who pilgrimaged door to door in the early 60s, spreading the good word of Commonwealth Edison Power Company. Red is the color of martyrs, like Christ. Red symbolizes fire and therefore is the color of the Holy Spirit. If the great calm Ed in the sky has taught us anything, it's that without red, we'd be in the dark. Red is fire. We can't exist without fire. Earth, wind, and fire. A legendary band from Chicago. Earth, wind, without that's, what's red, you got to do with red? Without red, fire, earth, wind, a cover band at best. Think about this. How dumb would the president look in a green Make America Great Again hat? Is it not true, Mr. Holloman, that on numerous occasions we have agreed, and I quote, you can throw a blonde in the pond if you have a red in the bed. Is there such a saying about people with green hair? Yes, throw your sheets away because that shit ain't coming out. Um, the Greek goddess of love, Aphrodite, was a redhead. One of the greatest taunts of all time has red as its basis. Red, red, pee in the bed. Not green, green, your poop is green. You should probably see a doctor. And yes, I ended this purposely as a teenage boy because I figured that is the mentality of my opponent. Take it away, I'm done. 
Oh, strong opening arguments there from Councillor Timms. In the comment section, you can go ahead and show him some love. Um, hit the like button, send some hearts, uh, put some of your favorite lines in there. Um, and as we do that, it is now time for Councillor Holloman. It is your turn for your opening statements right here in uh, the Court of Public Opinion, Red versus Green. Down the road, I look and there runs Mary. Her gold, her lips like cherries. It's good to touch the green, green grass of home. Oh, hello, Jay. Hey, first I want to thank, say thank you for inviting me here today. Uh, uh, I, I, it's an honor for me to de debate. I mean, I wish you had gave me a better opponent, somebody like a Susan Messing or, a, you know, Stephen Colbert, something, but you know, do to do. Uh, first, uh, I want to say, basically, I love all the colors. You know, there's there's no particular one. Uh, all the colors are good. I mean, each serves its purpose, even red. But green is a better color than red. Green is particularly good because it's near and dear to my heart. It's most beautiful when seen in iridescence. Uh, first off. Green is considered a secondary color. Mm. You know anything about colors. It's considered a secondary color. And some may not know this, but you need blue and yellow to create green. So in the most absolute of respects, blue and yellow are our base. And if you didn't have blue and yellow, there'd be no green. So I may oscillate between these two colors because yellow and blue are essentially the parents, if you will, of green. The sun is yellow and the grass is green, see? Grass changes from green to yellow when it dies because of what? Lack of yellow sunshine and moisture. Now, a lot of people think that blood is red. <clears throat> now, I'm no chemist, uh, although I have played one on TV, <clears throat> but I'm no chemist, but blood is actually blue. And once oxygen hits it, as every blue-blooded American knows, it turns red. Blue is the parent of green. Now, <clears throat> I first began, began having issues with red after my opponent, uh, dressed in red, was at a Christmas function at CIC. And I believe you were there. You were there, uh, uh, Jay. Mm -hmm. And uh, he was dressed in red, and he successfully scared the shit out of your son, your two-year-old son. The boy was horrified. I was able to calm him down, and your wife, you know, really cried. But you remember this. Red is a, a dangerous color. I mean, red does have a purpose. It can be useful, but in all its redfulness, it's, uh, it's, it's very bad. Now, green is a unifying color. In the words of uh, Plato, it's perceptible by sight and symmetrical with shape. Socrates would probably have said that green is very near to being of moral virtue but it is a color that stands for good. Now, red lovers often try to denounce the Green New Deal. You know, but you know, everybody knows gamblers wear green for luck. Whereas red, come on, it's a chicken shit color. Allow me to explain. Matadors often torture bulls. And I'm a Taurus. My birthday was this month, May 2nd, okay? Matadors torture bull excuse me, by waving a red cape in front of it. What's the purpose of that? The bull is colorblind and can't see red or green. Bulls, just like other cattle, cattle can't differentiate between two colors. But why do they do it? So that when they stab the bull and kill it, his blood will be hidden in the red cape. That's why I say, hmm, kind of a chicken shit move. Uh, winners of the Powerball claimed that they were doing what? wearing green uh what about people that win you, you like to play golf don't you tim you, you come down here and you know terrorize my neighbors on the uh, golf course and uh, what color is the jacket that they have when they give when somebody wins a tournament it's a green jacket classic three buttons single breasted single vest green says environment when you're out on the golf course knock that ball out, huh? I don't even play golf. I don't, you know, like, I mean, what the hell? But yeah, yeah. Uh, also, another thing to say about red, red poles, red poles very bad 
between the black and African American voters. Not that I'm in favor of crayon politics, you know. Uh, and, and there's many other things I can say about Green. I think I've I think I proven my point. If not, I can make other points later. So um, yeah, yeah, take it away, Jay. Wow, some strong opening uh, statements by both. Some personal shots yeah, fired. Right. We we enjoy both of those. And yes, I was there at that party at CIC um, when um, that alleged incident happened. But we didn't. Not alleged. That. It happened. But we <laughs> also and your wife were there. We also did. I'm going to debate happened. that because my jacket was tan mm. and i and there is a there's photo proof of yes. me holding your son do, do you my have, jacket is tan yes do you have do you have the photo there's um, photos it's all over the internet no yeah. i haven't seen that on the internet i um, think i even order pictures. order <laughs> order in the court so far some very strong opening uh lines there we have a couple of people who are watching live uh, uh, Andrea says in Italian, the flag that red and green actually live together, which is an interesting point right there. So they actually can coexist. Um, and so far, which America, is my point. we don't have green on our flag, Andrea. That's true. That's also a really good point there, too. Um, remember, at the end of this debate, we do in audience, our American rainbows. <laughs> At the end of our debate, the audience is the one who's going to decide who the winner is going to be. So right now, it's neck and neck. There's one vote for my wig uh, as far as leading the debate. And I mean, gentlemen, you have uh, some work to catch up to this wonderful thing that people think is a wig and not my actual real hair right there. It's like voting libertarian. You're throwing your vote away. <laughs> yes, yes, you're throwing your vote away if you vote for my wig. I cannot agree. I, I would more. say that it stands for red, white, and blue, which are the colors. And red is the parent of green. I mean, blue is the parent of green. Oh, you don't even know your, your argument. You don't even know your touch. Hey, 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 hey. Are you listen, arguing man. for, for these Back other the colors? Go ahead, Jay. Don't, order! Don't, don't, order! Don't Back on order, top order, order. order! Order! Um, Summer Austin <laughs> says red is sexy, but also evil. So some good points there made by uh, Greg. So right now, it's neck and neck right there. We move into- Come to the dark side, Summer. Come to the dark side. Come to the yeah. dark side. <laughs> Uh, we move into round two. This is a chance for you to poke holes in each other's arguments. So, Mars, I'll give you the floor first. Please um, poke holes in Gregory's opening statement. It's kind of hard. Greg did all the hard work for me poking holes in his argument, arguing for, arguing for other colors that aren't even green. And then you don't even have the balls to stand behind your color. Oh, I got balls, mister. Who, who starts their argument with, I, I like all colors. Uh, I'd rather not choose a side. I love, all, let's just get it straight. All colors are great here, right? Come uh, on, yes, get behind your good. color. Greg, are you or are you not from Cabrini Green? Ooh. You can't even get by, you can't even stand behind your own place where you were born because you're so busy worrying about angering everybody else that you can't get behind your color green. Green, the color of money, the root of all evil. Wow, on, wow. Greg. If you're gonna <laughs> debate me, you better get some heart and bring it to this debate or else you might as yes, well quit get... now. Are sucker. you finished? Wow, wow. Are you finished? Shots fired, a strong <laughs> hit on the gate. Uh, Counselor Tim's not waiting for anything, but he launches right into it. A question that some of our viewers did have as, have as well as far as why uh, Counselor Holloman decided to debate the merits of other colors, but I think what he was saying is combined, uh, they make green. But really strong second round, uh, right from uh, Counselor hey, Tim's. Jay, well, you have kids. You know when you combine a lot of colors together, they don't make shit but an ugly ass color. If you're gonna argue green, Greg, argue green and stop throwing all these other colors in the mix. They don't wanna be mixed up uh, with your green. I think you're finished. I mean, you said, uh, um, is, 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 can you still go on, Jay, like this? Well, well, Do I have to I'm listen ordering, to you? Order, order in the court. Um, some, <laughs> some comments, Summer, good point, Mars, right there. Uh, Chris May says Mars wins because I love him. Well, the, the, the fight's not over yet. Uh, what? And what? Jay Cross says ad hominem. It sounds like ad hominem attacks. And I said, yes, it is encouraged here to have those kind of attacks. Uh, so, uh, Counselor Holloman, it is your turn. The floor is yours. 
Uh, thank you very much, Jay. As a, again, I'm glad that uh, my uh, idiot uh, friend here brought up these points, my enemy brought up these points. Uh, it is not, first I'll take it for the last point you made. You said uh, uh, money is the root of all evil. Well, if you would know your scriptures right, it is the love of money is the root of all evil. Mm -hmm. It's whether you have that passion for it. Another point you said that love is... Uh, Red is the color of passion and all this Valentine BS. Yeah, yeah. You know, I like to quote that in 2019, 77% uh, uh, of people between the ages of 15 and uh, 30 uh, uh, caught uh, a venereal disease due to all this passion you speak of. And um, the fact of the matter is, without red and blue, you would not have green. So those colors are contained, just like if not for your mother and father, we wouldn't have you. They are a part of you, just as red and green, red and blue is a part of yellow. So that is my point. You cannot discount these other colors without having the green, for they make up green. That's the point. But you can Google it after the thing is over, and I invite my, my, my public out there to Google it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Oh, I had a I had a videotape. I was yes. going to, you know, I'll wait, I'll wait on that. Do you do you want to show that now or would you like to hold off? Oh well, well, we'll, we'll no wait. one wants we'll to wait. see your parlor tricks, Holloman. We're here for <laughs> no parlor tricks. And, no and parlor add, tricks. Might I add here really quickly, don't say and I quote, nigga, you reading. Say and let me read this to you. Don't say and I quote, because no, you're no, not no, quoting. Don't tell me <laughs> And we're great. Wow, wow, round two, even spicier than we could have imagined. Right now it's running neck and neck. I mean, the comments are just flooding in right now. Um, it's a barn burner. We have Summer Austin again, aw, oh, snap, Greg. Um, we need to consult a color wheel right there. Maybe green is evil. Go red, you, you dead, go green, you ween from uh, Judy Weatherby. Not sure what that means, but I'm sure she knows it means something right there. <laughs> so far, this is turning out to be better than we could have hoped. We move into now round three, which is the chance for you to have a one final rebuttal before we move into our hypothetical round. So Mars, this is your chance to have a rebuttal against anything that has been said so far. Oh, I think I said what I had to say about Greg and his, I quote, uh, clearly you reading it off the screen right there, Mr. Google. You, you brought your Google, you brought your computer to the debate, son? I brought my huh? facts You can't go to the straight debate. off the dome? Are we okay. arguing here? Are we debating here? Or are you just going to keep reading what other people wrote to me? Hey, there Do is, your own work, son. There is, Do your own winning. work. Don't oh, talk winning. to me, Greg. I, I think it's my point to talk yes. right here. Yes, that's right, Counselor Tibbs. It is I'm your point. I'm talking right here. I, I love it. This mixing all these other colors in here. Stand behind your green. Stand behind green. You can't get behind green because there's nothing to get behind. I'm team red, baby, all the way. Bulls, that's right. I represent Chicago for all my people out there, too. You know what color Jordan was wearing? Michael Jordan, the great number 23, he was wearing green. You know who he was dunking on? Green. He was wearing red. Jordan was wearing red. What? He was dunking on green, which is the Boston Celtics. Green also represents shamrocks, which represent cops who beat up black people. Is that what you're getting behind, Greg Holloman? Is that what you're getting behind? Staying with strong, Greg Holloman. Strong. I mean, there is a saying in the debate community, don't bring a computer into a court of public opinion debate. That is something that's been <laughs> said. I'm not saying that's true. It's just something that it's blowing up on, on the internet right now. Uh, oh, really? uh, Councilor Holloman, it's your turn. Uh, well, I think I've said everything that needs to be said. You know, uh, as I said before, you cannot have green without red and blue. And I said that I was going to oscillate between those three because you cannot. It's just logic. It's logic, you know. You know, um, red is just a terrible color. Every every woman that's grown up knows that it tortures them every month for a few days. Uh, 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 <laughs> You're not <laughs> winning any female support. Uh, hey, hey, hey! I'm talking now. In order, her. order, <laughs> Councilor Holloman, the floor is yours. Anyway, green is a great color. It sparks 
uh, it's good for the environment. It sparks fertility. It's very peaceful color. Like I said before, he, he comes down here and interrupts my piece to golf on my marina on the courses I live on. Wait, why? Why can't he could go to Lincoln Park? No. And you know what? That's another thing. This, this man here, you know, he lives in Oak Park, but he used to have a place down near Lincoln Park. Yeah, where it was green grass all over the damn place. So, you know, he, 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 he could have went to the Red Projects, but he didn't. He went to Lincoln Park. So he, he needs green. Another thing about green that people don't really, you need green. You know, you got to have your vegetation. The vegetation we eat contains alkaline. You get alkaline as a cal uh, cancer killer. You can't kill alkaline. Cancer cannot survive in an alkaline bath. And you only get that from your green vegetation. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. And have the good, that comes over up here, uh, up here, daddy. Huh? Uh, what else do uh, we mean to say here? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, anyway, that, that, that's yeah, probably yeah. that's probably enough for me to well, kick his ass with. You know, we see I, you but, reading everything you're saying. Don't I point did. To I, I had a few points I could have read. You know, like your statues that you see in Lincoln Park, there of that uh, patina of green that's beautiful, gives it that nice haunting effect. You know, green serves. Red kills. Uh, and, uh, you, know, Greg, and, you know, uh, he, you, you know what? He he didn't vote really for Obama. Quick. He didn't vote what for Obama project? in 2008. He went with McCain. He went with red. He loves red states. I mean, you know, hey, what man. What color projects, Greg? What color what? projects were you from again? You you just said it. I what was color? Cabrini Green. Yeah. What color projects were you from? I was forced because to live in the red projects. There were, there I was forced, there were forced there were, to live there in the red projects. Years. There was white, and there was, what was the other color, Greg? Red. OK. And now, you I said. Uh, in, uh, I'll set in my the red, thing. Red, red, red is. I'm not trying to just get, get rid of red. Red is very oh, useful. Oh goodness, sometimes again, you need red. Again, with you, you need standing red. Standing behind you your red. I'm not trying to you, get rid you of need, red. Hey, you I, can't I, get order, rid of order, 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 and forth right now. The audience who is watching and who is going to vote at the end, some very great points. Uh, Chris May says, green is the color of cartoon farts. Not sure if he's for or against it. He just wanted to make that point right there. Uh, lots of comments about Greg's tech being on point and look at what Greg's doing there with his technology. On the flip side, lots of points uh, for Mars for winning this debate right now with facts and logic. So it's going back and forth right now. What? Here. What logic? Come on, man. Um, and so far, yeah, Joe Kovach is saying red up to this point is winning the debate, but we're halfway through, so really good. And then Judy Weatherby, green, 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 environmental winner, green, green, green right there. Um, so far, so good. We now come to the next point, which is our hypothetical round. So, counselors, I want you to think of something that is typically the color of your opponent's color. So for example, a heart may be red or grass is green. I want you to formulate an argument as to why that thing would be better served being your color. So why would a heart be better green or why would grass be better red? So think for a moment, I'll give you each 10 seconds to think of something that is typically the color of your opponent's color. And then you're gonna formulate an argument as to why you think it would be better off with your color. While you're thinking about that, I think it's time that we play that video that Counselor Holloman um, gave to us. So he submitted yes, a video, you. and we're gonna we're gonna play that for our, our audience right now as you two both think about what the hypothetical round is. Here we go. Hello, everyone. It's me, Greg Holloman. I'm here to talk about green. Now, some of you may you know me from Comedy Central Space with Candy or USA's. Uh, Sirens or NBC's Shrink by Jen Drucker or NBC's uh, show ER. But you know me as a pretty much straightforward guy. Now, I'm here to support green. I'm all about the green. Wearing a green shirt right now. See behind me, there's a uh, Foley.
Oh, so I can't hear you, Jay. I can't hear Jay either. He, he muted his mic. Your mic is muted, Jay. J J J J J J your mic is muted. You messed yourself up, Jay. Yeah. So uh, there we go. Was wondering myself in that video uh, why why you were wearing the red, but turns out they weren't red. They were burnt orange glasses. They were burnt orange. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, Council Halliman, um, would you like to go first or second in this hypothetical round? <clears throat> Well, no, I'll let my, my, my colleague, uh, my anti-colleague go first. Great. Oh, you want me to go first? Yeah, no, how about you go first uh, once? How about you take some initiative for once? Great. All right, uh, Council Hallman, you're up first. <laughs> uh, well, there are a few things that should be uh, other colors other than the colors they are. For instance, uh, uh, Valentine's should really be blue. As I stated before, Nigga, he said green. Uh, green is your color. Hey, hey, hey. Your I ain't gonna be too green. many more niggas. I'm gonna tell you that right now. I ain't gonna be too many more niggas in this. Your thing. color is uh, green. You say green. Say right, blue right. one more time. I dare you. I double dog dare you. Say green. Blue, one more blue time. nigga. I said it. Man, I ain't I gonna be too it. many more niggas on here. Call no, me I ain't gonna be too many more niggas. I ain't gonna be too many more. Order, order. <laughs> Continue, Councilor Holloman. Well, I would like to say, like, let's take the color Christmas. That's commonly is is a red color. It'd be better. It'd be it'd be better served if we were green. Okay. Because you you know you get a lot of gifts, get good things. Red is a red is a dangerous color. Red is a war color. Color death. Uh, always sadness comes with red. You know, uh, red is always like uh, I'm in the red. You know, red represents poverty. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. who wants to be red? I mean, it, red, red, red. It can be a sexy color. Yeah, and, and it's also the kind of sexy color that can give you VD. That man right there. He's got VD. Wow. What a, I love your artistic take on the hypothetical situation. Um, Counselor Tims, your, the floor is yours. Right. And I am going to stand behind my color and not argue about some other colors that go into make my color. My color makes itself and it is red. Some things are green that might be better color. as red. I'm sorry, Greg Holloman. I'm talking right now with your yeah, but red you don't know about colors though. With the red handkerchief it, red, in your in your breast pocket. Order, fuchsia. order, order, counselor. Teams continue. All right, um, the shamrock. Shamrocks are amazing, and they'd be even better if they were red. The vibrant red, the bright red. Imagine going downtown to the St. Patrick's Day Parade and all of that red down there and just how it would brighten up the city. Red, a delicious frozen red shamrock shake. That would be awesome as well. The Incredible Hulk was green, but in future comic books, there was a red Hulk. And the Red Hulk was stronger than the Green Hulk. Red is an amazing color. Red makes the world go round. The sun with its big, bright, fire <laughs> red that keeps everything on this planet <laughs> alive. Excuse me. Uh, and that's me off the top of my dome, not sitting there oh, reading yeah, stuff off read, my computer. Now listen, you ain't fooling Some of man. us, some of us brought our minds into this. You know, yeah, I, I brought a mind. Because if you, if you know anything, you know that red, red is a primary color, and, and and green is a secondary color. But you don't know that, and that's why I brought up the point that you need blue and yellow to make up green. Huh? You can take your blue and green yellow is a and second shove it up your ass. Jay, uh, Jay, Jay didn't give me Jay didn't give me a primary green. color. Jay didn't give me a primary color. Your color is green. It you is. better start arguing green, or else I'm gonna put green. Hey, in hey, red man, I'm green. arguing. I'm arguing my color green, and it is made up of blue and yellow. 
So talk your ass off. Talk your monkey ass off. Wow. Blue and yellow's like, don't drag us into this. Order. It is hot in the court of public opinion right here. Our comment section is blowing up right there. Um, Can't help that you went to the west side and didn't learn your colors. Yeah, that's a, that's a Chicago public school right there. Jason Hader says, green seems more confident and loose. Summer Austin says, bless you to both of you. Chris you. May, if our blood was green, we wouldn't, we would be aliens. I can't deal with that. Um, Summer <laughs> says, this is turning personal. And Jason Hader uh, says, green is the evolution. So far, so good, man. It is blowing up. It is time for our final closing argument round right here. Uh, Councilor Holloman, you will begin with the closing arguments, and then uh, Councilor Timms, you will end today's show. So, Councilor Holloman, begin. Oh, what's this? So, this is our closing <laughs> arguments right here. This, this is the point that you have to make the final uh, push to get the audience's vote. Uh, interesting tactic that you're using. I'm sure you have a plan for that. Uh, so again, the closing <laughs> argument segment of this broadcast. So as I was saying before, thank you very much, Jay. I want to thank you again for inviting me here. It's been a lovely time. But as I was saying before, if you didn't have the colors, and I'm going to say this again, no matter what my opponent says, if you didn't have blue and yellow, which are the parents of green, you would not have green, and it counts. If he did not have his mother and father, you would not have a Mars, okay? Uh, so I, I, I'm just saying, green is a secondary color. That's that's fact. I can, I can argue that all day long. You gave him at the at the at this debate a primary color. Now, had you given me a primary color, then we would have had two primary colors. But as such, I got green. And so all three of those colors work in unison to make green. Uh, what else did I need to say? Uh, but yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, that's pretty much it. Wow. I'm done. I'm done. I stick a fork in it. He's done. People, if you're out there, vote green. You know, vote the, the green movement. It's here, okay? You need green. Green is life. You know, it's, it, it's, 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 it's your parks, okay? When, when Lori Lightfoot lets y'all go back to the park, it's your parks and things. Okay. Strong closing argument there. Um, I think the foundation of which was that I, I gave you a secondary color. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Strong use you gave of gave me a secondary bat. color. Um, let's see, Mars. Uh, the floor is yours. Um, I just like to start off by saying thank you, Jay, for asking me to be a part of oh, this. Copy I would never style. attack you uh, for any of the decisions you've made in in all of this. A color Check. is a color. You gave us colors to argue the merits of those colors. Not to say my color is lesser than these other colors. So let me try no, and- I didn't say the color was lesser than. I'm sorry, I'm doing my closing argument. I, order, I, I, order, I, I, order. I didn't order. say the color there. I have to correct you there. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. The reason I corrected you, the reason I had to correct you, because Jay was nodding in approval. Your time and Jay is over. Is supposed Greg to be a your time is over. I have a neck issue. I'm just stretching the neck. You are nodding in approval. Your time is over, Greg. Your I time did not. Over. <laughs> Counselor, you continue. continue. <laughs> I'm not here to say that my color is secondary and my color is first. I am here to say that I the love my color. My color red. I am here to promote the merits of red and to be by red side through all of this not any other colors. The most famous planet in our solar system, mm. the red planet, is Mars. Greg Uranus is green. <laughs> that is my time. <laughs> wow, strong closing arguments uh, from both of you. And uh, I, I, the technology Greg was using, uh, very strong. I think if it were about technology, which it's not, he might have won the argument. Um, facts, logic, and point of view, Mars, it might have tipped your way right there. But we're going to see right now with who is going to vote in the court of public opinion. Please, in your comments now, vote for green or red right now. 
and we will give you just a few moments right there. Um, oh, uh, Chris Rudd never calls him back. Well, that's it. That's speculation right there. We are not sure. No, he does. That's, he does. That's, that's all true. speculation. No, it's not. Chris never calls him. <laughs> Uh, again, while we're waiting for the votes, Councillor Hallman, how do you think it went for you today in the court of public opinion? Well, I think it went very well. I mean, Mars had to yell and scream to make his point and try to make his point all histrionic. And, and when you don't know colors, that's what you have to do. Wow. You have and to try to win by bullying. And uh, but I thought I did very well. I kept the facts, and that the po and no matter how it turns out, you know. And when the folks go back, they'll be able to check that, hey, Hallman is right. Green is a, 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 a secondary color. Hey, he was right. He did have an unfair advantage because he didn't get a primary color like that knucklehead in red. You know, that's all. Interesting. But he's going down like a red clown. That's all I got to say. Counselor Timms, how do you feel you, you did in the court of public opinion today? Um, I'm very confident. Uh, just like my color, red is a very confident color. Um, you know, red's probably as confident as blue or yellow. Uh, clearly, green isn't a confident color, as Mr. Holloman puts forth, because it's just a secondary color. It's not like it's parents blue or yellow. You know, um, I, I think I made my point. I argued my color, not other colors. And um, yeah, I appreciate everyone for watching and I look forward to seeing what the outcome of this is. And you know, well, I, never let, I never said that it was less than just because it's secondary. I, they, they know. I said, I appreciate all the colors. Did I not say that, Jay? Oh, I'm sorry. I, can't, of this, I can't see you, Greg. I, all I, I see are your parlor tricks. <laughs> what, what, you mean like red promotes poverty? Yeah, it does. Well, it is bad. Um, gentlemen, the the votes are in. They have been counted. What? Uh, it it was a close one. Uh, somebody named uh, Lars Sims actually snuck in and voted, which may or may not have swayed the vote right here. Hey. He had the green getting many votes. In fact, Jason Hader had several green emojis as part of voting. Um, and Judy Weatherby says green, red almost swayed her, but she's single and, and Valentine's Day brings up bad memories. But the final count, barely eking out a victory. Oh, hold, hold on, wait, wait a minute, Jay, before you say this. Lars Sims can't vote for herself? Well, uh, Mars Timms is here. I don't know who this Lars Sims is. <laughs> it's, you know, it's America. Um, vote early, vote often. That's what we say in America. <laughs> Um, I've been boozled. I've been had. I've been took. Oh wait, we have a new, we have a new winner. We have two two counts that came in at the very end. Wow, it was red, but two people voted for green at the end. Jason Hader and Mitch Conti, who just tuned in. So the court of public opinion has swayed their vote to say green. I don't Mitch. The winner. <laughs> <laughs> so again, like much yeah. of America's judicial system, justice may not have been served today. Boy, <laughs> clearly it no, wasn't. No, there, justice was served. Later, the votes were in. The voting had closed. Am uh, I am first I wrong? Of all, saying you that voted the voting for yourself, had closed? As you are, Lars are you Timms, not saying Lars announcing Timms. the winner. The voting was closed. <laughs> no, no. Hey, hey, hey! You don't be like Trump. And then you reopen no, the he, vote. He, no, no, no. Order. Right. Order. Right. Order. Right. Order. What a fantastic Thank debate we have between these Thank two. You, Jay. We are going to send this to our um, the International Court of Public Opinion. They're going to be running, since it was such a close vote, they're going to go through and actually hand count the votes here to make sure we know who is the winner right now in this Court of Public Opinion debate. Um, Greg Holloman, Mars Timms, wonderful oh, job by both taste. of you in this topic of red versus green. Um, where can people find you online if they want to follow you, uh, check out you on social media? Uh, Greg? Uh, they can find me on Facebook, uh, Facebook on my fan page, Greg Holloman, or uh, under Gregory Holloman, my regular uh, book, or they can find me on um, 
Gregory Holloman, all one name on Instagram. Another vote came in for red. So this, <laughs> this debate is not over yet. It seems the votes are still coming in. The votes have come in. It's always took place. You got to close it down. Close it down. You don't close have to down. close it down, Jay. You keep that open. You let votes keep coming close in. Close it down, Jay. Close yeah. it down. Do the right thing. We're not allowed to win until this, this voting has closed. Um, <laughs> Mars, where can people find you online? Uh, they can don't find so me sad, online Mars. at uh, Mars, M A R Z T I M M S, on Instagram. I'm at Mars Tims on Twitter. Uh, I am at Comedian Mars as well. Um, um, Where are you at on Pornhub? On Facebook, I'm at Comedian Mars. Um, I have my website, which is www.marstims.com. Um, I'm doing a lot. I'm very busy, uh, unlike Gregory Holloman, who is not very oh, busy go. at all. Oh, here we go. Here's the BS. Oh, yeah. Oh, here we go. Oh, oh and we just got one uh, vote for sorry. green and one vote for red. So the voting hasn't stopped. I'll have to make an announcement once the voting <laughs> has stopped because they just keep coming in right now, folks. Folks, um, do the right thing. Remember. Oh, oh look at green. this. Again, with the graphics. This was a debate, right? This, yes. this was like a graphic show. Is, is that what we're here to do? This is the, this, we're here to win a debate. Uh, each other. Just to let the people know to say no to red. That's all. So don't. Uh, yeah. Thank you, you both. Say no to those things. Red has nothing to do with those things. <laughs> thank you both. <clears throat> Have a great day, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> At That's least I'm the, a primary color. Yeah, you're primarily bad. <laughs> you're primarily uh, bad. I got you're robbed. Primarily, Jay. you're a loser. I got oh, over Rob, yet. Jay. It's not over yet. Oh no, I was saying green for Oh dude, you got robbed big time. <laughs> Greg wasn't even arguing for the color. Was he just, sure wasn't. He was talking about I was. I had to I argue for my color. No, you did not. You argued for blue and yellow. Blue and yellow. <laughs> I said blue and yellow make up green. Oh. Nah, nah. Blue oh, and so yellow so are those the those green. votes for green technically should be split three ways, Jay. Right, right. <laughs> no, you know? no, blue and yellow make up green. So no. those are all, all those votes were for blue and yellow. Then God, when are no, you? No, they were for green. What are you two? You can't have blue and yellow Shut without up. green. Jay's talking. You hear Jay talking? When are you? Jay's two? wig is off. He is normal like all of us now. He ain't no more judge. <laughs> when are you two gonna do a show online? Just a. a the two of you, it's so fun. Well, it's a, well, let me tell you something. This is what I love about your show, because I really think it's, uh, we're not still recording, are we? No, no. Why does the record button say record? It's